Before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for more amazing pets content. With that being said, let's begin. Whenever I go to work, I drive, I don't fly uh, because I want to bring my dogs with me. Uh, I've got two uh, wonderful pit bulls uh, named Boston Venice. And, I've, seen, uh, I've seen pictures. You've seen they, pictures they, they, are, they are strong looking creatures. They're beautiful. Yeah. They're, they're, they're sweethearts. And it's very important to me uh, to bring them with me everywhere. One, because um, I'm nothing without them and they're my best friends. But, but two, it's, it's important for me to do whatever I can to sort of change the perception of, of, of pit bulls in this, in, yeah. in this country. I think it's pretty sick and twisted how people feel about them uh, a lot of the time. And my dogs are total sweethearts. And yeah, they seem like it. They're, they're wonderful. Yeah. Well, you know, I know this runs in your family. Your father is the chairman of the board of the Humane Society of the United States and an amazing guy who does mm -hmm. so much for us. But he helped lead the fight in Maryland mm -hmm. to deal with a legal problem where pit bulls were going to be deemed inherently dangerous. I know it. I mean, just I it. regardless of the, I mean, it could be the sweetest dog, but the court said they're automatically dangerous. Look, I mean, anytime you look through history, anytime that there's sort of a, a blanket blind rule, blanket blind law that uh, ends up discriminating against a certain person, it's the same thing, discriminating against a breed of animal. And, and um, uh, it's, it's incredibly unjust and, uh, you know, People who have had a pit bull be a part of their family, it's their family dog, they could have had him for years, uh, all of a sudden can't keep him anymore. And it just leads to the number of, um, you know, strays, it leads to the number of uh, dogs out there that are getting taken into um, fighting kennels. And uh, When I was a kid, it was Doberman Pinschers I know. who were viewed as the toughest dog and there was a Rottweiler. Mm -hmm. So I've seen mm -hmm. it, it's just cyclical. And, yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's all sort of, you know, whatever, uh, it, you know, you know, it's, it's sort of. You look when, when the little rascals had a had a pit bull. You know, yeah. the whole thing is so yeah. insane. And, and Petey, what, he was awesome. It. He was awesome. He you was know, awesome. we and, love that patch on his eye. Yeah, my favorite is when people say, you know, get your pit bull away from my dog. You know, they're just <laughs> they're yeah. just dogs. Well, your know? your two dogs are great, and and uh, we appreciate not only your advocating against the prejudice against pit bulls, but you've also helped us with rewards for animal cruelty and animal fighting. I mean, they do victimize these pit bull type dogs. I Absolutely. So much in these fights. Absolutely. And I mean, um, I think uh, the more information that can get out there, I think people really understand the, the, the real horror of the situation. I think the better. And uh, it's the people. You know what I mean? It's, it's the, the people. Humans. And, and, and uh, you know, and the, the, the other thing that I want to say is I really, I've seen dogs and I've taken, I, I've taken in dogs that have been through all kinds of things. And the one thing I can say is you can always bring a dog back. And uh, they're incredibly loyal wonderful dogs and uh but it's not just pit bulls because you, you know you know these these awful criminals that are participating in that world you know they're stealing pets and they're using them as bait dogs and there's all kinds Narcotics, of horrible stuff. there's yeah. violence against people it just runs it's like a whole criminal so it's very very sick it's very very sick well we're grateful because you're here for our 60th anniversary event yes, in washington thank you for joining My us pleasure. and being Happy on stage to be here, tonight and you're going to be talking about puppy mills a little bit which uh -huh. is another form of exploitation of dogs that sickens me and we're trying to do something about it cool yeah no I'm, I'm i'm honored to be here and i appreciate it adoption right not not getting a dog from a pet store your two dogs came that's from it. the streets basically. that's it that's it and i mean uh you know it's 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 pretty brass tacks and straightforward it doesn't really make sense to to go another way and i think there's just so much um i think that if people again it's all about information if people could understand sort of the the environment that these dogs are being brought up in. I think that uh, you know, I think people would would stay away from those. Or removed. They don't know, right? They go to a pet store, they see a cute dog, and they They're have just no there. idea what the backstory is. What that dog's been through to get yeah, there. Right. Yeah, yeah, and right. the people that are profiting off of those dogs, and the uh, it's uh, it's bad. And your own experience with these two dogs mm -hmm. shows that they can be fabulous, wonderful animals. Yeah, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I and look, I think uh, a dog that's that's. Um, a dog will, you know, the wonderful things about dogs is they don't get in bad moods and they love you no matter what and, and they stay with you and, and, and by your side and um, there's so many out there Does that are just looking for Does your father get in bad moods? My, never ever. No? Never ever. He oh is, he is I, like I do a, push him. I'm sure you push him because you're, you're known as a little bit of a bad boy. Am I known that way? Yeah. Oh boy. Right? No, man. I'm just a sweetheart. A no, my dad is never, my dad is like... <laughs> 
No, I think... Um, Never gets angry with you guys? My, my dad made it very clear from a young age. You know, he, uh, <laughs> he, 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 he likes people all right, but he loves dogs. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, to a, a insane level. I mean, driving down the street, <laughs> he sees a dog on the side of the road. It doesn't matter if you're in a rush. He'll pull over. He's like, I got to say hello to that dog. Yeah, I got, I got my dog in my office. He got right on the floor. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, right yeah, down yeah. There. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's him. Well, listen, uh, the Burnt Dolls are a fabulous asset for the Humane Society. Thank you, States. thank you. You and your dad and your mom and your brothers, we're so grateful. Thank, thank you, you for brother. everything. I appreciate sure it. Sure appreciate thank it. Thank you, thank you so much. John Burnthal, this is a Humane Nation. Thank you. Bringing you more value per minute than any other pets channel out there, or at least trying to. We would appreciate if you at least like or share this video. That would mean the world to us.